Hey guys, we're in the uh, garage gym, so we're just doing a little bit of a uh, warm up here. So I'm just going to give you some advice on my favorite warm up. Excuse the setting, but I'm at home and it's uh, it's easier to show you this way. So uh, this is one of my favorite warm ups. We're going to start off with uh, 15 hinges. Um, we're going to do swings. I've got 28 kilo bell. Um, you can use whatever you want, and then we're going to do one goblet squat. We're going to do 15 marches on the spot and then we're going to finish with some deep squat with the arm in extension using the suspension trainer. So pay attention, we'll start with the swings. into a goblet squat. Down nice and low, elbows inside. Try and get as deep as you can. March on the spot. Two, two. 15 each side. Then we get our suspension trainer, rings or whatever you've got. And we're gonna sit back into a water skiing position. Nice stretch into the lats. And then we're gonna just push the hips back. Try and keep your feet flat on the ground. Push back. Open up the hips, wiggle around a little bit. Push back. Stretch out that back side. We're going to vary those after we do the next set. So, just a rundown if you can't do swings, do hinges. If you've got problems with your hips, use a two by four under the forefoot and start by getting a better hinge in the hip. By putting your forefoot up on the two by four, you're removing the shank, you're taking the ankle out, and you'll focus more on the hip bend. Following that, your prying goblet squat, you can stay there for a bit longer. You can do some curls that should help you get deeper. And if you need to, elevate your heels as well. Following that, the marching on the spot, that just seems to get everything underneath you and kind of cross pattern opposites. And then here, really nice stretch. When you get deep into that squat, a lot of the time we end up rounded and hunched over to get down. This allows us to keep a nice extended back and stretch out those lats. So we're gonna go for round two and I'm gonna show you a variation on the suspension trainer. So round two, swings, bend at the hip, inhale, Into your goblet squat, <clears throat> wiggle around, get low, do a couple of curls. <clears throat> Marches on the spot. Now, for this variation, we're gonna take the trainer 
and we're going to put the right leg back and the right arm overhead and we're going to sniff the armpit armpit sniffer and then we're going to lean into it and just drop those hips in you should really feel that in your right hip and the side of your body sniff that armpit lovely nice big deep breaths and then after the next round we'll do the other side remember when you hinge if we inhale forcefully before we start the swing you'll stabilize your spine try to think about float in the bell and playing chicken with the bell on the way down so don't bend too early let the bell come down, play chicken, and then whoosh, power from the hips, and then it comes up, okay? Nice way to start. Inhale here. if you don't hit the suspension trainer into your goblet squat chest upright widen those hips out pry them open change that center of mass with the curl should get you a bit deeper another 15 marches one one our TRX trainer other side now so left leg back which way this way yep sniff the left armpit drop that hip in you should have one side that's a lot looser then you can work a little bit extra on your tighter side Sniff that armpit. You can also switch the other way if you like. You should find it more effective with the same leg on the outside as the armpit that you're sniffing. So that's my best warm up. Stole it from Dan John. Very good strength coach. If you don't know who he is, look him up. He knows his stuff. Dan John University. DanJohn.net. Purple Yorkie strength. <laughs> 